Hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday, March 9th. It's 2.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to bring over the time and sales. The E-mini S&P trading at 19.88 and a quarter. Just bring the chart all the way to the right, and we can see the E-mini S&P here. Today I have a video for you of live trading in my own account, but before I go any further, first, the required disclaimer. Okay, in the last few weeks, I've been showing three or four different charts on the E-mini S&P Superenco 4 tick, and many of the charts have hit their daily goals or been profitable for the day. The performance has been pretty good. The number of winning and losing days has probably been about 75%, maybe, maybe better. In this case, the reason I was running different charts is I was playing around with uh, starting trading at the open or staggering at a half hour or, or an hour to see if there was any advantage. I kind of came to the conclusion that for day trading in a small time frame like this, that there seemed to be no disadvantage to not starting at the open. So I chose to trade on the chart that started trading one hour after the open. And you can see the trades here. These these are actual trades that were actually taken in, in my account with real money. So just to look at our settings here, I'm trading two contracts. This is the, the chart that I previously showed just trading a single contract. I was trying to show it tr for trading a small account, but I chose to trade two contracts. It's a limit order with a two tick offset. And I uh, upped the goal to 700. So there was actually a positive slippage today in real time. From the looks of this chart, you can see, of course, there's no H on the trades. It was They were taken in real time. But the chart doesn't look any different than the charts that I've shown previously uh, that were traded in SIM. In other words, because we label our trades to show the difference between historical trades and trades trading live in the market on the day they happen and the, usually the same day as the recording of my videos, uh, we don't see anything that looks any different here. These charts look the same, whether it was simulated or real money. I was just having this conversation with somebody. This is really important, and it's particularly more accurate when you use limit orders. With a stop order, you usually get filled at your stop price, but you could get a tick of slippage depending on how fast the market is moving. So all the concerns about slippage, slippage is not a given automatic. Slippage can go both ways. Today is a good example where slippage went to the plus side on this particular day. And it actually looks like there was uh, two ticks of positive slippage because the last trade is only one contract and the goal is 700. So, so this market must have been uh, dropping pretty rapidly to get the positive slippage here. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you would like to find out more about the BWT Precision Auto Trader, please visit our website or feel free to send me an email at systems at bluewavetrading.com or give me a call at the number on the website. Thanks for watching today.